the aggression against Gaza. It is actually a manifestation of the clash of civilizations. Look, the whole Western world who are claiming the values that are challenging the Islamic values. Because, look, there are Russian values, there are Chinese values, yeah? And there are the Western values. Russian values, no one ever claimed that the Russian values are challenging the Islamic values. The Chinese values, they don't have that values that can stand before Islam, and no one can, no one have ever seen the, chale the, the Chinese values are challenging the Islamic values. That doesn't mean that China or Russia, they are just nations or just superpowers. They have also their own problems. And we know what, the, what China is doing against our brothers and sisters in East Turkestan. And we know what Russia has done to our brothers and sisters in, uh, in Syria and in many other places. So we are not talking about that, but we are talking about values. And we have seen in the last maybe uh, 40, 50 years, uh, arise on Western values. And they always uh, challenge our values by the Western values. And they claim that the Islamic values are the barbaric, backward values. And the enlightened values are the Western values. And they were talking about the clash of civilizations not mainly between China and the West, not between Russia and the West. It is mainly between the Muslim world and or the Islamic world and the Western non-Islamic world. I have to say the Western non-Islamic world because we became part of the West. So the West, there is the Islamic West and the non-Islamic West. So the non-Islamic uh, non West. So, and that clash of civilizations or values is manifested in different ways. And recently, it is, we see that it is manifested in the aggression against Gaza. And brothers and sisters, some people might say that you are reading too much in this. No, look, I am sure all of you as young people have been or uh, have been watching many non-Muslim YouTubers, big celebrities, especially from America. And recently, I am sure all of you have uh, or have known the, the, the uh, trend on social media in America, which is the letter uh, to America that was written by uh, Ibn Laden. And many YouTubers said, we didn't know this. We didn't know this about America. We didn't know this about the West. And many people now started to realize that many Western countries are, first of all, their values are not the true values. They are not genuine in promoting so-called human rights. They are actually uh, oppressive values. They are values that uh, give, uh, or they, they, they are values that have an agenda behind them, and the agenda is to serve the interests of certain people, and they, are, they don't care about the human beings, they don't care about values, they care only for their interests, and they want to use whatever they can use in order to suppress human beings, control human beings. And many youngsters like yourselves in America, especially those who were born post 9-11, they started to wake up and they said, we never knew that this is the situation. And they have seen the brutality of the occupation in Gaza. They have seen that America is in fact fighting the Palestinians on behalf of the occupation. They have seen many Western countries, they were opposing, or most of the Western countries, they were opposing even a ceasefire. They don't want it. They want to, the killing to continue. They want the brutality, the genocide to continue. And then they started to question 
themselves, to question their identity, to question their values. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah, this is a ni'mah from Allah Jalla wa'ala, but it shows that actually the clash or the aggression there is a manifestation of a real a clash of civilization, or it is actually a real manifestation of the theory that talks about uh, the clash of civilizations.